So it appears that I'm a bit of a sucker, okay? John Jones had a video, and I made a video about his video, brought it to you guys, where he had a bit of a prowler outside, and then John comes running out with a shotgun. And if you go look at that thing, it's very fugazi. I mean, this thing looks set up. It looks very, very set up. And I didn't catch it at first. I thought it was very real. There was an establishing shot. It was dark at night. This guy's looming around. Garage door open up. John Jones comes busting out. But as you, if you go back and look at it, man, there's a few things that are uh, afoot here. First off, just running straight while holding a shotgun was very bizarre. Getting out of a garage door without alarming the burglar is very bizarre. Right, I mean, garage doors make noise. The guy would have been gone. Just the whole thing was very bizarre. But then John captioned it on Instagram to tell us what happened when they went out of scene, which was that he caught the guy in his car and like tapped on the driver's door with the shotgun barrel. Which John, who is clearly gaining ground on this guy, so when the guy got to a car, then most thieves don't show up, right? I mean, if the guy's like looking to, to run your car and run the glove box a little bit, he kind of leaves on foot. In most situations, it doesn't say he can't have a car, but how did the guy get to said car? And then when he got all the way to the car and shut the door, and then John had to surprise him with a tap on the window, what did the guy know John was there? Oh, and then above everything else, there was no police report. So apparently this never happened. But it does make you wonder, then why would you say that it happened? And I'm all for a good ruse. I don't have a tremendous problem with it. Did it come out on Halloween and we missed that? People were showing scary scenes and this was John's scary theme? Because if so, I got to tell you that I'm tipping my hat to him. It looked like a pretty scary scene and he got me. I mean, in all fairness, I mean, it was the whole thing was pretty interesting. But what was the point of that? What was the point of staging a scene on surveillance video where your cars are getting looked at, but they never actually get damaged, and you bust out of a garage holding a shotgun on a camera that's so fuzzy, nobody really knows if it's you or if it's not you. We just trust that it's you because you said it was you and you put it out on your social media. I mean, what was the point of it? What level of attention seeker or what story were we attempting to tell? Or... Did I have it right the first time and I'm being naive this time? And it did happen. And we were just supposed to believe that John, who was gaining ground on this guy, the guy got to a car that was parked nearby and he walked in on foot, but apparently he didn't have to. He had a car. Okay, fine. Well, people do weird things all the time. But where would John need to like get his attention by doing the tap on the windshield with the gun? And wouldn't that prompt the guy to start the car and get the hell out of there, not just stop? And why was there no police report? I mean, there's a lot of questions, right? And this wouldn't be the first time that John staged. Remember when John went down, he was like, went down to break up looters that were somewhere in Albuquerque, but he took the camera with him, had to hold the camera while I do this, and then let's go edit it and put it on my social media. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that he staged something for a little bit of fun. I got no problem with the whole thing. Hold on, I'm being told something off camera. What do you got? It also wouldn't be the first time that someone tapped on the window of a car and blew somebody's head off. Keep that in mind. Back to you.